What's going on guys? I'm Tristan Duran. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be how to make sure that your front end is aligned when you put it back together on your motorcycle. I was trying to show that on my last video. This is really a quick update video here because as I was trying to do it and I was tightening that nut on the stem here, my paint on the upper triple clam got completely damaged. I was really disheartened, but it's it's good. I paint I painted again that upper triple clamp. It looks really nice, and I don't have paint where the washer is. So if the washer spins, which is very likely it's going to happen on the upper triple, it's not going to take the paint with it. So everything's fine. If you want to know what I'm talking about, you can watch the previous video that I'm going to link here. So. What we have now is the only thing that is tight right now is the lower triple clamp stem in the frame. Those nuts right here just put under compression the bearings for the steering. That is it. Everything else is loose. This is completely loose. It's not even finger tight. And the same thing goes for the clip-ons. They move and the upper triple clamp right here is just put on top of it. That's it. It's just resting on it. Nothing is tight except those bearings here for the steering. Okay, so what is the correct sequence to the tightening sequence to make sure that the front end is going to be aligned when everything is set together. The entire system is relaxed and working together because really what we have to keep in mind is what we want at all cost is to have that inner tube and outer tube to be aligned. Same thing here. And we want those axes right here, we want them to be parallel. That's what we want to keep in mind. That's really what we want. We want this one and this one to be parallel and that leg to be aligned for the inner tube and the outer tube and same thing for that leg here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to tighten is right here, the lower triple clamp. Because right now, those tubes can spin in those in those clamps and by the way this is what I just did in the uh, before the video I just made sure my height on those tubes is correct it's the same for both so I make sure it's equal by looking at the top of the tube right here not the cap but the top of the tube that is right here and I make it flush with the top of my upper triple clamp I did that for that tube and that tube so now I know that both my tubes are aligned, which is going to help me a ton when I want to put that axle, the wheel axle right here, to go from that leg to that leg and to be just going and sliding into, into place. So that's super important, that's done, and that's the reason why I'm not spinning those tubes right now to show you that everything is loose, because otherwise I'm going to um, upset what I just set right here. All right, so let's go and tighten that lower triple. I highly recommend you use a torque wrench and follow the torque that's on your service manual. I will just for the video do it like that and it's not the first time I do it so I have an idea of the torque that I need, I need to apply. On those pinch bolts right here, you always need to go back and forth a couple of times because as you tighten one, the other one is getting loose. So that's the reason why you see me going from one to the other right, right now. Okay, so that looks pretty good, the upper triple clamp just one more time. Okay, the upper triple, the lower triple clamp, I'm sorry, is good on those tubes, so those tubes can't spin anymore. But what we're gonna do now, and I know it's gonna be surprising to a bunch of people, is we're gonna tighten that upper triple clamp. We will not tighten that stem nut right here. Why? Um, what I wanna make sure of is when I will tighten that nut right here, I don't want my triple clamps to be moving um, one compared to the other. Because right now, what links those clamps, the lower and the upper triple right now, is the tubes right here, but remember, everything was loose a second ago, I just tightened here, it's completely loose here, and the uh, stem, really, uh, that's coming from the lower to the upper right here. So if I start spinning here, and there is a lot of torque that's gonna go on that nut right here, it's for me, for that Yamaha R1, it's gonna be 113 Newton meters. It's, it's a big torque. As I'm doing that, I guarantee you the upper triple clamp is gonna go clockwise as I'm spinning when the, other, when the other one here cannot turn because it's gonna be on the steering stop as I'm tightening it. So this one is not gonna move, but this one, because of the torque, is gonna like turn a little bit. If I tighten this, and this lower triple, upper triple, then I got a lot more rigidity in my system, which 
will prevent my upper triple clamp to rotate. This is what we're gonna do right now. So let's go. We do that, and I know why you don't wanna do it now. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. But just, just bear with me right now. So I got it tight. And same thing here. For me, for the Yamaha R1 here, it's just like one, I go the opposite way. It's a one pinch bolt on each side and it's 26 Newton meters per. So just to give you an idea, so it's not crazy torque, but it's good, you know, it's really snug. Yeah, so we're good here. We're good here with my uh, personal natural uh, torque wrench. All right, so here we are tight and here we are tight. And still, we haven't touched this one, but this is the time now to do it. So as you can see, it's completely loose and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Okay, so let's go. Oh yeah, I want to protect my paint and that's the reason why you're gonna see me doing that. I know it doesn't show much for you, but I really wanna protect my paint. You are very welcome to not do what I'm doing here. It's just because I spent so much time painting. I just wanna make sure I'm not ruining anything. Okay. So you can tell, hmm, you can tell that lower triple clamp right here, the steering stop is on the frame, so that cannot turn anymore. And this could rotate a little bit because there is definitely flexibility for that to happen. And that's the reason why we got it tight. So let me go. Okay, all right, very nice. All right, so that stem right here is now tight. And what I'm gonna do, you guessed it, to relax the system, because I agree, the distance between those two, upper triple and lower triple, may have changed now that I put some torque. Maybe now there is some stress in that upper triple and in the tubes, because the, the uh, triple clamps are not parallel anymore. So to do that, I'm gonna untighten those pinch bolts that I just tightened before. Okay, yeah, break it loose. Same thing here, yeah, here we go. Super nice, all right. So now that upper triple is loose again, on the tubes and now that we've done that we can tighten back all right okay oops okay all right now clip ons Okay. Nice. All right, so what do we have accomplished so far? We got the upper triple clamp, the clip-ons, the lower triple clamp tight on the tubes, and we have the tubes parallel to each other. We haven't done anything with the inner tubes right now. We have done everything on the outer tubes right here. So now we make sure that the two clamps are not in an awkward position. Everything is lining up. Now, most important thing to do, we gotta put the front wheel on. Front wheel is right here. Okay, so an important thing to understand is that for in my bike right now, the wheel axle looks like this. There is a shorter right here and that's it. Everything else is completely uh, smooth. All right, so keep that in mind. And that shorter is not resting in the fork, in the leg right here. It is resting on that bushing on the wheel right here. That means that axle goes through this and nothing stops that axle on the, on the leg to go through it. I could do that. Okay, so we gotta keep that in mind for what's following. All right, now I'm gonna try to put that leg, those legs good for the wheel to come. 
Okay, here we go. Yep. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the axle in. So I got my axle inside and I can just get my little rubber matted. All right, nice. We are at a stop. And the way it works on that bike is I have that little bolt right here that goes in the axle on that side. Okay, I do that. Okay. And so let's see if I can do it without it spinning. I guess I can. So I'm going to tighten that right now and I'm going to do it at the torque. It's time for me to tighten that side. If I was seeing that side of the actual spinning, that would be time for me to uh, tighten those pinch bolts right here, but I would have to loosen them up afterwards. And I feel like I'm going to be able to yeah, it's not spinning, so it's okay. I don't need to do it. All right, so this is tight on that side of the front end. So that means that leg is the captive leg and that leg is the free leg. What I mean by that is that the axle right here is completely free. I would say the leg is free to move on the axle through that axis right here. The leg can go up left and right on the axle, right? But it's not possible here because now I've got that bolt that I just tightened. So it's time for me to tighten those pinch bolts on that side here, just to be good. All right. And now the important thing in the entire video to make sure that all that work was done for a reason and that you're not, you're not messing up at the end. All right, so before you tighten those two and call it a day, very important thing to do is to make sure that you set that leg right on the axle, completely vertical, because you do not want that leg to be slightly bent. I would assume that because of the way I put the axle right now, the leg could be a little bit inwards, which would mean like those, those two legs would balance out and that would not be parallel at the end. There would be some stress in the, in the entire system, and this is not what you want. So to avoid that, we're gonna shake the bike a little bit. I'm gonna keep the bike vertical. I'm gonna shake it just so the front end can go up and down. The forks can move. It's gonna set this in the correct position. Just having, not that vibration, but that movement and that um, stress on the springs really is going to set that in the correct position and after that we can tighten those. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. okay so I don't want to ruin my brand new ARPA triple clamp so that's why you see me doing that. Here, stay straight, baby. All right. Okay, enough. You don't need to do more. Okay, and now just to finish, those two pinch bolts right here. So even if you don't change your entire front end and you, you know, you, you just remove your front wheel to change the tire, to do anything, to clean, to change your uh, pads on your, on your calipers or whatnot, change the rotors on your wheel every time you remove the wheel. If you follow the last steps of that sequence with that move of the front end and you know, 
what we did with those pinch bolts just to make sure that there is no stress in those legs but they are perfectly vertical together parallel on that axle now I know that the things are good so if you do that when you change something on the wheel you'll be good all right that's what I wanted to talk about I don't have rotors on this one because I'm working on that wreck bike so but it would be very straightforward on my bike because I got pins locating pins on the calipers to put them on the legs so that would be very easy if I didn't have the pins I, I would have to do something else but I'm sure I'll talk about that in a different video so yeah that's what it is if you like the video well like the video if you have any comments for me drop them in the comments down below and make sure to answer them if you want to see me rebuilding that Yamaha R1 and work on so many other projects consider subscribing to the channel activate your notifications this way you know when I post a new video I see you in the next one and meantime keep building <laughs>